So, first of all, uh, please understand that this gold standard is not a not a similar scale. Okay, this is an outcome variable. So, whatever construct you have, you will have to theorize that this construct leads to a particular outcome. Okay. Now, that outcome has to be measured through a particular measure, existing measure that you have. And then you work on it, right? Then you show the relationship. So the convergent validity, I think the, uh, the uh, question is on the convergent validity part. If you do not have a similar measure of the construct, then you don't talk about the convergent validity. Rather, you show the second kind of convergent validity where you show that, well, the items of my scale, they converge onto the latent construct, that is fine. And also this construct is related to uh, constructs with which it should be related to, but it is not very strongly related so that we lose the discriminancy of the two constructs. Okay, so yeah. the nomological validity and the criterion yeah. uh, validity uh, will be same? Uh, will be, or... Yes, so, so uh, what is nomological validity? Nomological validity is a kind of, it does talk about the relationship of your constructs, okay? So what is nomological validity? Um, yeah. So nomological validity is if you have your construct preference for numerical information, nomological validity will actually say there is a X, there is a Y. Okay. So this is called as the nomological net of PNI. Okay, so it talks about antecedent and a consequent, right? Now, there are different papers. So some papers I have seen, they test only this part. They test only this part, okay? And they say that the antecedent to outcome, this is a nomological testing. Some papers test only this part, and still they call this as nomolo nomological validity test. This part, which I have just shown here, this part is also the criterion validity part. Because you are showing that your construct is actually related to an outcome variable and to, an, to a particular outcome. Right. So, nomological validity, ideally you should show it with an antecedent and a consequent. It shows how, what is nomological net? It is nothing but it is just depicting how your construct is related to uh, other constructs. And you show these, you test these relationships. Okay. Sir, I have seen some papers also where they are taking two-factor uh, criteria to yeah. have this criterion validity. Yeah. So this is, yeah, so that will also be called as criterion as well as nomological validity testing. Okay. Uh, sir, I have one doubt here. Uh, yeah. So how nomological validity is different for uh, from mediation? Uh, so, no, no. So see, nomological validity is of the measure, Rahul, remember. Whereas mediation, you are talking about the phenomena. Okay, you are talking of the phenomena to <clears throat> so nomological validity question comes only when you are actually talking about the measure or and you are developing the measure of a particular construct. Whereas mediation is talked about in any sense, you don't necessarily develop a measure in a mediation. Does that so uh, this yeah. this would come whenever we are just developing some scale and then we have yes. to like so then you have to then you have to show nomological yes okay okay sir thank you sir.